Good afternoon, everyone. We should be starting the initial press conference, which will be uh, Texas Tech in uh, about six or eight minutes here. Uh, very quickly to go over a couple of things. First of all, the satellite coordinates for the press conferences today. SES-3 slash K02B is in boy. Once again, that's SES-3 slash K02B is in boy. We'd also like to remind you, mobile device video recordings, including live streaming and Periscope of today's press conferences are not permitted. We'd also like to remind you that flash photography is not permitted. Please turn off all your phones. Uh, so when the, people, the folks arrive for the press conference, just simply raise your hand. I'll recognize you and we'll get you a microphone. And then wait until you have the microphone before you ask your question. If anyone needs statistics from the game, we have those available here in the corner. The Texas Tech contingent is on the way here. For those of you who'd like to know, uh, for Butler, you'll have Dunham, Martin, and Weidman. This time we will go ahead and begin the Texas Tech 
press conference. We'll start with an opening statement from head coach Tubby Smith. Well, good afternoon. I certainly want to commend Butler. Certainly they did the things that they had to do. Um, you know, their defense stepped up their defense, made some big shots. Those threes that, that Kellen Martin made in transition really, I thought, were, were a dagger. You know, was, they were um, so he, but we I'm really proud of how guys competed, and uh, it's been a good season. So um, sorry it's ending. All right. At this time, we're going to open the floor up for questions for the student athletes. Okay, we're going to do questions for the student athletes only at this time, and then we'll get Coach Smith. So, are there questions for the student athletes? Can we get Mike here? Justin, y'all had a good start to the first half, and then did Butler change its defense, or do you think y'all settled for more jumpers than attacking the basket during that time? I think we settled for more jumpers rather than attacking the glass and the rim. Uh, Coach Smith was, you know, reiterating that constantly. You know, get to the glass and, you know, get get to the foul line. You know, get him in foul trouble. But I think, I mean, we had great looks. Uh, you know, guys, you know, usually knock, knock those down during the whole season. But just tonight, it wasn't falling our way. So, you know, and Butler made great shots. I mean, it's, it was they were knocking down threes from everywhere. So it was a great, great game and well coached team. Other questions for the student athletes? Despite this, this loss, you guys have had a, a good season. What are some of the things that you're proud of that you've accomplished this year? Devonta, could you answer that, please? For the most part, just making it this far through all the adversity, through the injuries. We just stuck in it, regrouped after the losses, but it was just good making it this far. Justin, could you comment on that? Uh, I think the togetherness we created over the year, uh, last year, and I, th I think, I mean, we were, we were a group, but I think this year we're more of a family and a brotherhood. Um, and I, I thoroughly enjoyed it throughout the whole season. I mean, I love practicing with these guys, I mean, in the hotel room and just hanging out with them constantly. I mean, these are, these are my brothers, and you know, I'm going to miss Devontae. Uh, you know, he's been, he's been a mentor to me, and he's taught me so many things to the game, and I mean, I mean, I'm glad, I'm glad we made it here, but, um, yeah. Any other questions for the student athletes? All right, gentlemen, you're excused. Thank you very much. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Hold on. We have one question. Hey, Justin, uh, with so many young guys coming back next year, including yourself, how important was this run this year to the, the tournament? Oh, it was very important. Uh, you know, of course, you know, we've never experienced the NCAA tournament. Uh, just the overall, you know, the arena and the fans and just the atmosphere. We, we never experienced that before. And of course, we played in the Big 12 tournament, but obviously that doesn't compare to, you know, March Madness. And you know, I, th I think it was a great experience for us. You know, we, we now we know what it feels like and, and now we know what we have to work on in order to get better, in order to advance next year. Any other questions? Okay, gentlemen, you're excused. Thank you very much. All right, now we'll open the floor up for questions for uh, Coach Smith. Can we get a mic in the middle there? Tubby, you mentioned the uh, – right right here, sorry. You mentioned the uh, the transition threes for Martin. They did, they did a fair bit of damage in transition. What were they doing that, that made it so difficult to contain them there? Well, it was, we were turning it over. And that was, at first, that's how you get transition baskets in – Live ball turnovers are just, just killed us, and um, and they just burned, you know, just made good on it. That's what he, and we, it's hard to recover in that situation because now, but it just takes a lot of, uh, tells you how focused he is and how focused they are. They, you know, been here before. He's made shots like that before, and uh, so it was just clutch, clutch shots. But a lot of it had to do with, you know, they forced some turnovers and, and capitalized on it. Can we get a microphone up front here? Uh, Coach, uh, pretty good 8-9 matchup. Looked like for a while might go to overtime. Any thoughts on how Butler shapes up for the rest of the tournament? Oh, I think they're well, you know, 
well prepared, well coached team. They've been here before. You know, they've got they're very physical. That's one thing you have to have in this when you get to this level. I thought their endurance and their stamina, their leadership from from Roosevelt and and, and certainly have got outside shooting in this type of in this in a tournament like this, you've got to make shots. You know, we struggled to to uh, make some easy baskets today. Uh, I don't know how many layups we missed, probably missed four or five in the second half. And so you've got to finish plays and that's what they do. I think they're certainly one of the teams that could do well in this tournament. Other questions? Right behind you there. Coach Smith, how, how does this experience really set your guys up for next season, especially with the four sophomores coming back? Well, you know, we have everybody back except, you know, Todrick and, um, and D. Will. So, you know, we've signed one player. We're hoping to sign a couple more. But, um, yeah, I think it sets us up pretty good. I, again, I think the experience of being here, you know, having uh, – even though we haven't won yet in the postseason play, whether it's in the Big 12 or in the NCAA tournament, I think the that taste of, of you know, you know of, of losing, you don't want to have that experience again. So, uh, and I think they'll understand just how hard we have to work in order to get get back here. You know, it's just it's not a given just because you have experienced players because a lot of things can happen. So, but we have a good group of guys. I think in Norris and Zach and Justin, Keenan, you know, they've been the backbone of the program. And those guys, just you could tell that they were uh, that we were sort of physically outmatched as far as strength and just the bulk and I, I think that's an area that we'll we will imp with maturity and, uh, and getting in the weight room I think those things will will be key but you know we got Matt Matt back and hopefully we'll get you know he has another year maybe we can get another year with for him he's really uh, developing into a good player um, you know, Rokas you know, is, is starting to play extremely well he's really developing so we've got a good front line and, uh, and we have some uh, some people coming in that'll help us in the backcourt. Any other questions? All right, Coach, thank you very much. Thank you. The Butler press conference should be starting momentarily. No, we're perfect. I'm good. Thank you very much.
this time we'll go ahead and begin the Butler press conference. Coach Holtman, if you could please give us an opening statement. Yeah, listen, uh, proud, of, uh, proud of our guys. I think we, we played a very good team uh, today in Texas Tech. And, uh, you know, as I've, as I've told uh, you guys yesterday, I got so much respect for Coach Smith and the job that he does. And in watching him on film, just was really impressed. I knew it was going to be a grinding physical game, and it was that. Uh, it was a great atmosphere, thanks to our Butler fans. They were terrific. Um, everybody who traveled. We're fortunately, we made a little bit of a run there in the uh, mid part of the second half with Keelan's two transition threes that gave us a little bit of breathing room. So proud of our guys. Uh, um, it's a very good effort, and we're excited about moving on. All right, at this time, we're going to open the floor up for questions for the student athletes. Once again, for the student athletes, let's start with Aaron and then Davis, if you could get this gentleman here next. Aaron Beard with the Associated Press here in Raleigh. This is for Keelan. I don't, you were scoreless, hadn't made a shot, and then you hit the two threes. Kind of what went right for you in the last eight minutes, especially in that sequence with the threes? Uh, just letting the game come to me. Uh, I know I didn't score first half or beginning of the second half, but coach was telling me on the bench when he was subbing me out, just uh, let the game come to me. It's going gonna, it's gonna to come. I'm going to make plays but just impact the game defensively and rebounding. Let's go on the aisle here and then we'll come up front. Uh, David Woods from the Indianapolis Star. Tyler, you're, you're usually outsized there in the post, but I think you were six of six shooting today. What, what, what was going well for you today and, and what was the biggest, uh, the biggest challenge you had facing Texas Tech's bigs? Uh, just letting the game come to me. Uh, my teammates did a good job of finding me when uh, the Texas Tech's bigs like stepped up or something like that, but my teammates were just doing a good job of finding me, and I was just in the right place at the right time. And I say uh, the biggest thing for me was against the bigs were just guarding them on uh, defense. Like they were pretty big down there, so it was a pretty tough challenge. Okay, let's go right up front. Uh, that was a pretty good eight-nine matchup. Looked like it was going overtime until Kalen got hot. How is that going to help you guys moving forward, being in a tight game like that? Kellen, could you please answer that? Yeah, I, I think that, you know, it shows a testament to our character uh, and our maturity that uh, we're able to weather the storm and uh, prevail. Um, you know, an example is, you know, Keelan it doesn't score the first half, but comes out and continues to be aggressive, and we trust that he can score the ball for us. Right behind you, Davis. Yeah, also for Kellen, um, this was your fifth NCAA tournament game. You really didn't have a high shooting percentage in any of the previous four. Were you mindful of that, or you, just, you really looked like you were in rhythm today? And I just wonder if you were, had felt any sense of relief that, uh, that you shot so accurately today in your, in your last NCAA tournament. Yeah, I mean, I mean I'm mindful just because I want to hit every shot, and I expect to hit every shot. But um, that's, that's just the way that I think shooters, good shooters have that mentality a lot of times. And um, a lot of times my, my teammates were able to set me up and say, set great, great screens, and that shows how unselfish we are as a basketball team. We're going to go back in the back in the middle there. Always in tournaments like this, there's a quick turnaround. How much do you know about the, the next two teams that are playing Virginia and Hampton, and how much are you going to watch this next game between now and, and then scout for between now and Saturday's game? Tyler, could you answer that, please? Uh, I don't know much about the two teams personally, but I know our coaching staff is going to do a great job of scouting both teams and just be prepared for whoever wins. Any other questions for the student athletes? Right there, Davis. Uh, maybe for, for Tyler, the defense has been kind of a season-long issue for, for the Bulldogs today, but the, uh, uh, it, you, had, you got a lot of stops, a lot in succession today. What, what, were you, what was Butler doing well today on defense? And I, I don't think I detected any, any zone possessions. It looked like you stayed in man. Uh, just sticking to our principles that uh, our coach is drilling to it. You stay in practice. Just, Playing the bullet defense is uh, trying to be the toughest team out there. Any other questions for the student athletes? All right, gentlemen, congratulations. You are excused. Thank you very much. All right, at this time, we'll go ahead and open up the floor for questions for Coach Holtman. Let's start with Aaron on the edge over here. Aaron Beard with the AP. Um, weird things happen in the tournament. Good scores go quiet at bad times. Were you nervous at all about 
Keelan's start and where he was before he hit those two big threes? No, I wasn't. He's wired to score. Um, and the biggest thing for him, Aaron, was he, he needed to, to let it, it happen. And he was going to have some openings. And you know what? If he, they covered him well and, and didn't have openings, that was going to create some things for his teammates. And he needed to be OK with that. Um, you know, he rolls out of the bed ready to score the ball. We want him to continue to impact the game in other ways. And that was really our challenge to him in a really pretty direct way at halftime. And he responded. And that opening or that stretch in the second half was uh, important. Eric, can we get a mic back there in the middle? Kind of along those lines, you guys made the most of the turnovers that you yeah. forced today. How, how significant was it? Obviously, with the transition threes, but even down the stretch, even further than that. Probably the difference in the game, really. Uh, I thought defensively, you know, we were we were um, good at times and not as good at other times. We did have some activity, which created some some uh, some turnovers. Um, and there were probably a couple unforced ones, too, that, that we capitalized on. But we did have some activity, which created some turnovers, which was good. Uh, but the flip side of that is we don't typically have 14 turnovers. So we need to take a little bit better care of the ball. Other questions? Okay. Davis, can we go back in the middle there? Yeah, just looking ahead, I know that uh, how tough is this turnaround, particularly when it could be a one seed that plays with a very unique style with only one day to prepare for? Well, I, you know, I, in these kind of settings, you're, you're already uh, in advance preparing for the teams you could potentially play. I think everybody's doing that. Our staff's been hard at work uh, uh, late into last night uh, in, in preparation for, for both teams we could play. So uh, that's typical. Um, listen, when you're in the eight nine game, I think everybody knows what's what's coming next if you win. So, uh, our guys, uh, we'll, we'll prepare them as well as we can. We'll really try to be uh, as simple and basic as we can, and um, we know that we could potentially play either team, and uh, we'll, we'll be ready for it. We'll, the players will sleep well tonight. Coaches will not. Uh, Eric, if you could get one here, and then Davis, can you get back over to Aaron over here? Yeah, Coach, uh, you know, Butler can, can score so much so quickly. Is there any kind of point of emphasis to, to, to tell the team, like, if we get, you know, two or three successive, successive stops, that might be enough? I mean, obviously, that, that has been like a season-long yeah. uh, mission for you to try to get the defense to improve. But yeah. it seems like when you have if – if you can have a defensive spurt, it seems like that can sometimes turn your games. You know, I just think, David, I, they have to believe that, right? Now, you know, listen, the, the teams we've beaten when we've, when we've played really well, it's our defense is kind of we've been able to put successive three, four, five stops together in a run that's been the pivotal point in the game. And um, that is they have to uh, believe that. And uh, it's been a challenge at times, but our guys, I think, uh, embraced that today. They had a really good focus about them. Uh, the entire week in preparation for this team. We knew it was going to be a grinder and potentially a lower scoring game uh, because of how Texas Tech can grind you. Um, so, you know, I was pleased. We certainly do, did talk to them at, at timeouts about trying to just outgrind them here these last, uh, uh, you know, last couple minutes. And our guys did that in that stretch. Let's get Aaron and then we'll go right behind you. You've got guys that have played in the tournament before. How much is tournament experience a factor when you're in a game that's 48 all midway through the second half? You know, I think it's it's probably a factor to some degree. How much of, of it, I don't know. I think may, maybe a little bit too much is made of that. Um, because everybody who's probably in this tournament has played close games throughout the year. Granted, it's the world's best tournament in a bigger stage, but um, you know, we were really just preaching staying in, staying in the moment as much as possible and uh, trying to win the next possession. And I think our guys showed good poise, uh, good poise. We didn't, we didn't have great poise in a couple stretches in the first half, but we did for the rest of the game, and that's important. We're going to stay back over here, Coach. Joe Kayana from NBC10 in Providence. Uh, Andrew Chavez is one of the local kids for us. Yeah. Can you just talk about what he means to your program the last couple of years? Really important. You know, when we've played well, He's been an important part of it with his ability to uh, get loose balls, be physical and tough, and he can be a matchup issue at the five because of how he can shoot it and drive it. Um, 
and defensively, I thought he worked against their bigs today uh, pretty effectively. So he's very important for our team. There's no question about it. Any other questions for Coach? All right, Coach, congratulations. Thank okay, you very thanks, much. Okay, thanks, guys.